The huge advantage of robotic taste is that it's objective. It will be always the same. So we have no affect by mood or by personal preference. And it will always remember all the dishes it tasted before. So the Kahar Khan project is a, a robotic chef which uh, has a very simple sense of taste. And we can use this taste for, for, for example to try to replicate your favorite dish. Or we can tr uh, try to do is to see the difference, be the difference between two different recipes and hopefully learn from it. We actually don't know much about how the taste percep perception works. Like we enjoy eating, we enjoy tasting, but we really don't know how we actually test and how we can understand it from scientific viewpoint. And what we really want to understand is the use of engineering methods to understand how our taste uh, mechanism, tasting mechanism works and uh, how we can reverse engineer, so to speak, how we do the tasting. So the sensor we are using uh, over there is a conductance sensor, which is built out of uh, two platinum el electrodes, uh, which are very resistant to all the chemical reactions uh, to all the ions present in the food. The sensor is based on conductance, so it reacts to things like salinity, but it also reacts to things like humidity and consistency of the food. And even though it's just one channel sensing, when we take a lot of samples to get an image of a food, and then we kind of simulate mm, chewing mm, by, by mechanically processing the food, we can almost get a video of how the food reacts uh, to chewing. We still don't know what's the application of this, uh, how, you know, what's the application of robot tasting, uh, but for sure uh, we will have something interesting because robot can now have access to the taste perception and that will uh, give a feedback to their way of cooking or what they can serve to, uh, to, uh, to human beings.